Hello everyone. Dana might be showing you where she is doing her walk-in this morning. I went and went to the dentist. There's an old root canal here that uh, apparently has some issues going on, but it's right by the sinus. So I've been battling that sinus stuff. They cleaned it out. So hopefully that should clear up the, what the infection, what's going on in there. Um, but exciting stuff. Well, Dana's out relaxing, enjoying, having fun walking. What's happening here, and maybe you guys know all the technical terms or something, but this is the, I think the overflow kind of spout. When you run the dishwasher, it uh, flushes water back and forth between the sink. Uh, and this is an overflow area. What I think gunk has gotten through and in and in there. So now it is coming up over onto the counter and um, onto the counter. And I put this towel here to stop it. It's totally soaking wet. Because before the water was flowing and the seal here had come off all along here and water was getting down back behind the cabinet. And so that whole area back there, like I noticed that we have water damage back over on the, the side and stuff. And I was like, holy crap, what's causing that? Anyways, I've sealed that up so that's not going on anymore. Now I'm flushing this out with the air compressor. Got the little air compressor there. I did it probably a year ago, two years ago. It's probably some household maintenance thing. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. And then um, we have a rug to roll up, stuff like that. But otherwise, just a regular day. Um, we'll see what else comes along. Hey, I just got home from walking and showered and cleaned up. The man is still cleaning. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing from him. Um, he's been taking trash, uh, cleaning the kitchen. You okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to, this thing still bubbles up and I blew all water out. I've shoved things down there. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't want to have to crawl underneath anything. Don't mind my face. I have a little peeling solution on it. Um, it actually doesn't peel, just helps clean your face. Um, but I have showered. I need to eat. Do we have to run any errands? Do you know of anything? You can put that over there. Uh, um, we, we already did Costco. Yeah, we did Costco over the weekend with Kaylee while she was here. Got her stocked up. Her prices of um, fruit over there are really expensive, or at least she's just not used to the sticker shock of having to pay for her own food, <laughs> which I think is more the problem. Um, I'm gonna put that in my pocket. Um, I'll just give you an update. I'm waiting for my peeling thingy to be done so that I can wash my face. Um, give you a quick, should I give you an update while I look like this? This looks morbid. I'll give you an update when this thing comes off. I'm sorry, this looks pretty bad. All right, uh, Jason checked one thing off, another thing off the list. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's called AC. I know, but I'm trying to do this and it's interrupting. <laughs> um, insurance, our, our car insurance company called, called him back after he called this morning and they um, confirmed that my windshield is covered. Jason hasn't believed me that it's covered. Um, that was not the question. The question is whether they're, it's gonna ding us against our rates and our rates are going to go up because everybody keeps hitting us and everything keeps happening. But everything is not our fault. I, I, I keep going over this with him and it's so frustrating. It That noise back there is the power washer. We're taking it back to our friend's house. So it's making a lot of noise back there. He keeps like saying that like all these other accidents and things have been dings. None of them are dings on our on our policy. They're none of them are actual claims that are our fault. They're like we have zero claims against us. No, you you're I do wrong. I the one a couple years ago. It was it was a like a, it was like five years ago. Uh, was I supposed to go somewhere today? Shoot, hang on. Actually. All right, I just got um, a last minute scan appointment. <laughs> they know I'm their last minute gal. I can, I can usually come like really fast. They would have taken me now, but I'm like, we got some errands to run. Um, and so I'm gonna 
go in like 45 minutes. He'll drop me off and then he'll come back and pick me up. But we're talking about this man's birthday is in two days. So everyone wish him a happy birthday. By the time you see this, it will be passed. And we're trying to decide what he wants to do for his birthday. AKA, where does, where does Dana want to go to eat to dinner on Friday night? <laughs> right? <laughs> um, no, but like I want, I do want you, aside from Indian, I don't, I really don't like Indian food. Or Mexican, it just messes with my belly. <laughs> and you don't like Mexican food. I mean, it's not your first choice. It's fine. Uh, but, this big old bump. So we're just trying to decide where to go for his birthday this weekend. It's gigantic. Yeah, this bump is, oh my gosh, oh gosh, I've hit you. Anyway, we're just kind of trying to figure that out and um, run some errands, get this thing out of our trunk first off so it's not clunking around back there and um so anyway that's what we're kind of doing trying to like make plans for the weekend and um cool. abby is at home i'll give you a quick update about abby i was going to do that before when my face was off well maybe we'll go to chinooks it could be a full afternoon that could be fun. drive over and yeah like if it's not it's supposed to be nice different. weather we could think of a nice seafood place well chinooks is good I mean, I like Chinooks. Yeah, yeah. It's just different, but... Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. That's over in the Fisherman's Wharf, over in Seattle, over in Ballard. Um, so that actually is a fun place to go to. So maybe you come we to do Seattle that. and you want to go somewhere fun to eat, Yeah. that would be a good one. It's definitely, because you can do like quick bites to eat. They have like an outdoor little walk-up where you can get take takeout food. Um, but it's still like the same good fish. Um, but then they have the indoor restaurant that's really nice and fancy. All right, so we're gonna drop off this, um, call it pressure washer. And then we forgot at Costco yesterday, or the other day, I don't even remember, it seems like this weekend is kind of a blur. This past weekend is a blur. Um, I, I didn't know that I needed laundry detergent. Um, we were out of melatonin, which Abby is kind of using that to help her go to sleep because she has to sleep sitting up still. And it's just really hard to like fall asleep in that position. <laughs> and she's no longer taking the Oxy. Um, she actually only take, took it like twice. She just doesn't like how she feels on it. And she's really like managing her pain um, meds on her own now. And so, hang on. Is that where he wanted it put? Jace? What? Is that where he wanted it put? Well, that's where he put it for me, but I'm gonna go knock on the door. Oh, and... yeah, they're gonna be home. Um, she's only on Tylenol and ibuprofen at this point. She's just taking antibiotics, and um, she's resting in bed right now. But she's yesterday she came down all day long to get food and hang out with us, and Jason massaged her back, and I washed her hair in the sink. And then she took a shower and then I brushed her hair and it's just as nice to like get to take care of her because and, and her allow me to do so because she's pretty independent and doesn't like you know help with things very often and so it's just been kind of nice that she's like I'm sure, sure she could brush her own hair but she loved that I had like nails and I was like massaging her head while I was washing her hair and then she loved the hot water and she's like, can you just let the hot water hit my forehead? And I was careful, like she was leaning her head back because you can't get the cast wet. But she said that the hot, hot water um, relieved some of the pressure from behind her eyes up here, on, right here on between her eyes is all swollen. Um, and so she's like, it just feels so good and it relieves the pressure. <laughs> so it's just been, it was fun yesterday to like take care of her and have her allow me to do so and she sat in front of me on the couch and just let me brush her hair and then I braided it and then Jason massaged her back and then tickled her back and then like did that little, what is that little head massager, oh, claw thingy. Um, he did that for her head and she sat through. We joked with her because I was like, you always seem to like to come get your massage on Sunday nights when we watch uh, Sister Wives. I think you're sis secretly wanting to uh, join us for that. Um, so anyway, she's doing really good. Um, I told her it's up to her when she wants to go back to school. She hasn't really talked about it yet. So, um, and she also has, has a new little babysitting job. She watches our neighbor, um, once a week. I won't say what day because just out of privacy, because it's kind of an ongoing thing. Um, so we're just kind of waiting until that day 
to see if Abby feels like babysitting that girl and if not then I likely will do it <laughs> because um, they don't have really any other options so um, but she's cute she's one of Ashley's friends younger but one of Ashley's friends so that's kind of an update on her she's doing pretty good and I think it's just a matter of you know swelling and she's probably gonna start turning blue soon um, but we're obviously not gonna show that we're not, you know unless she feels like she wants to but I doubt she will so I mean she doesn't let us show her when she absolutely looks gorgeous and full face of makeup and dress cute she doesn't really let us show her that way either so pretty sure she's not gonna let us show her all bruised and blue so <laughs> uh, we're gonna head out and go get our errands done. All right, I have not done a good job filming today because I was just busy. My uh, scan that I got called for went from three till almost 5.30 because the entire crew that was supposed to come and do the scanning, um, they were an hour late. Um, they had a training session. They're all from all over the country. And they come for these little training sessions and um, they were an hour and 10 minutes late to come over and scan me. They were just in their training session and I get paid for the whole thing regardless. <laughs> so um, then they kind of just rushed me through um, all the different groups and Jason had to come and pick me up and uh, we just came home. But while I was there, Abby texted me and said she needed, what does she need again? Um, like these butterfly like tapes. Butterfly band-aid tapes for her nose. Like and this. some Q-tips. That was for my elbow. Butterfly closures. They were for my elbow. Yes. I have a and I need some Q-tips. And there was one other thing I thought. Oh, you need a birthday present for your friend. Yeah. And so, sorry, I feel just, I need to shower tonight. No, did I shower? Did I already shower? I did already shower. Um, I need to know if but I But just as I was finishing thing. dinner, I made some little roasted potatoes in the air fryer. I literally so good so good if you haven't done roast, um, potatoes in your air fryer chef's kiss I did that and some corn and some leftover chicken that's in like the bag of garlic pasta Actually. Abby's getting in the car she doesn't want me to film she's coming with me back at home um, it was fun having Abby with us um, when we were down the band-aid aisle we could not find the little um, butterfly closure band-aids um, they didn't even show them on the app so I'm gonna have to go to um, like Walgreens or Rite Aid tomorrow to try and find them because um, she wants to put them like underneath on the stitches um, but we were looking for those band-aids and this guy kind of walked out of the aisle, you know, and we kind of moved off to the side to let him out or whatever. And he just looked at her and he looked at me and <laughs> just total straight face and he's like, why'd you hit your daughter? <laughs> and I just busted up laughing and I was like, you should see the other guy. And then she started to laugh and she's like, I can't laugh. I can't laugh. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, that was our first one. That was our first comment about her nose. Uh oh. She thought it was funny. That's good. So, anyway, um, we try to look for birthday things for you, but we, you, don't you know, really give me anything. told the kids we shouldn't get you Depends. They did want to get them. Depends? Because you're, you're an old man. <laughs> Dude. That was, it was not my idea. It was not my idea. It was Kaylee's, but no, it was I Abby's. Think it but then I said, that we should get it from Walt right now because she always pees her pants. <laughs> I don't pee my pants. Yes, you did. You I need to rush the bathroom. Thank you very much. All right. Well, anyway, it was fun having Abby with us. Um, she's definitely tired now. It was her fun to go out with. Definitely her one outing since she's had surgery. Um, so, um, anyway, I am going to settle in for the night. Say goodnight to you guys. And uh, we just start a regular week, I guess, right? Uh, you go back to work tomorrow? Yep. You've had a lot of time off. I've had time off. Yeah, Friday and Saturday I and work, Sunday I and work, Monday. Yeah, well, I got sick, so I haven't been enjoying it. 
I know. I had to take a bunch of that time off because I just wasn't feeling good. This week I was a little more enjoyable because... Yeah, a little sick. bit. <laughs> I hope that the root canal today helps your sinuses. I, I do too. Have I you noticed that, you have, that your eyes are swollen under here? Are they? Uh-huh. They're like almost blue. Oh. I'm betting it's from your sinuses. Well, yeah, this one still feels a little bit puffy, but I was able to go for a walk. Yeah. I feel like I'm breathing a little bit better, but this still feels a little bit. It'll take a while. Yeah, it takes a I still think that the, the, his, the original dentist needs to prescribe a, an antibiotic. Another one? I don't know. I took one for 10 days for the sinus infection. Well, but if, if they cleaned it out, which is the source of it, yeah. then the body should heal it up. But he said, I got to go back in a year because if it's, if it's a... Uh, cyst then it has a hard like shell to it and the body can't get through it because uh, the other alternative was cutting the gum opening it up oh going in there cutting like, like full the, surgery doing everything, and then putting it back down uh-uh and it's like that's uh, a no uh, that's like a it's whole like, how much does that cost uh, wow anyways we did it the more so he said this is the way he would do it this it was, was the conservative him. dude no no the conservative way was doing it the way we did it i know the budget it. Wise, I don't know that this was the most conservative way. Yeah, uh, he accidentally let me see the price tag on that bill. It's, just trying it's to hide dental it from me. Work. Mm -hmm. when you don't have a dental insurance, you just literally pay out of the mouth. Yeah, pun intended. Pay out of the mouth. <laughs> I made it funny. I guess it was a proctologist. It would, you're paying out of the yes, yes. See, that's funny. What did you say? Where were we when we were in the OR? We didn't say this because it was not appropriate at the time because Abby was going in for surgery. But we were talking to the anesthesiologist and I don't know what the conversation was about, but you were talking about, <clears throat> well, you were talking about your colonoscopy. Oh. And I was like, it was <laughs> but we, about... But he couldn't think of the word and we didn't know what he was talking about because he had just barely like... Referenced no, it. Something about like medication or something. Oh, the reaction oh, of it anesthesia. Was, uh, coming out of anesthesia. Yeah, yeah, your reaction. I was to like, it. yeah, I, when I came out of my little surgery, like, N no. I went, like, yeah, I went like that with my hand. <laughs> and then, <laughs> she, 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 me they, and the anesthesiologist both were like colonoscopy because <laughs> of his hand motion. <laughs> She's like, I've never seen anyone do the most accurate hand gesture for that surgery before. She was laughing. <laughs> what did you say after that? We just all laughed. Yeah, it was well, funny. No, what did he say after like, the answer? It was a female, but yeah, she was Abby's she, anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist for her wisdom teeth surgery and remembered her from that surgery two years ago. So anyway, we're going to sign off with you guys. Um, it was nice having Abby with me tonight because she just sees, the, you, you know, it's progression. She's fun to it. Hang out. All our kids are fun to hang out with. I wish they'd come hang Sometimes. out with us more. <laughs> Go get ready for bed. And All right, take care, out. you guys. Good night. Really quick, is there anything wrong with this picture? I mean, I I did this hours ago, and no one has noticed. I have it in the fridge. Anyone see anything wrong with something in the fridge here? This. Thing. I literally haven't been in the fridge. Yeah, I haven't. Been I cleaned it. But no one's bothered to take that I haven't, out. I haven't looked in the fridge. Just no. keep it in there. Oh, no, it doesn't go in there. Just keep it in there. Go in there. <laughs> All right. That's Good night, everyone. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.